Hello everybody on YouTube, Brendan Parker back there with another tutorial. This one's a Sunny Vegas tutorial. Um, what I'm going to show you is how to do a chroma key and stuff like that. I showed uh, everyone how to do a chroma key for those who have Final Cut and who have a Mac. So now I'm going to show everybody who has uh, Windows and who uses a virtual version of Windows and who likes to use Sony Vegas. So here's a... Uh, okay. Get right in there. I'm going to go to the screen. And uh, doing chroma keying and doing a green screen and stuff like that is not uh, as difficult as people uh, may think it is or whatever. It's pretty easy. All you do is, okay, first we're going to open up Sony Vegas. Okay. And you could do uh, many different things. Like I said on my uh, Final Cut tutorial, you can disguise the lemon. You can do whatever you want. You can put whatever in the background. You could do, uh, like, you, like you can add like a picture in the background or you can add like a video loop. Or you could um, uh, duplicate yourself and you can uh, make a clone of yourself and everything and like that and, and stuff when you're doing green screening and stuff like that and uh, best work and the best way to do this make sure you have a pretty good uh, color, color of green like like the green that I have that I'm going to show you here okay and right now I'm, I'm going to show you what it what it kind of looks like a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this down just to right about there just bring it down a little bit then I'm going to uh, show you what it looks like the movement of it okay and w w what I did a little bit was uh, pretty much uh, what I did was I went into okay video effects and I went into uh, chroma keyer and that's pretty much uh, what uh, Final Cut has to get your do your chroma key stuff for your green screen or your blue screen whatever you you're using and uh, so you go to chroma key and you drag it on to your uh, clip that you're gonna cut your uh, the green out which is the clip of yourself and you can see me moving right in the background a little bit and you kind of see a little bit on uh, that I had to change the color a little bit and I'm going to sh show you uh, little things with that too and the video loop that I have is one that I found uh, searching on Google for video loops for like green screens and blue screens so uh, I'm going to go right in here and I'm going to go to my uh, effects tab right down in there that little effects thing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I have. First, what I usually do if I'm doing a green screen or blue screen or whatever is if I want to cut myself out is right here is I'm going to add the chroma key first. And then what I do is I add the color corrector just so I could uh, get it to as closely as possible. So I'm going to shut all of this off first. Okay, I'm going to shut this off. Shut this off. Okay, and, and shut the chroma key off. Okay okay and that's what I look like with the no chroma key uh, effects or whatever on there and uh, as you can see a little bit that uh, my clip is kinda a little bit off uh, uh, like it's not uh, perfect and it's a little uh, like staticky a little hazy faded a little bit or not perfect or smooth or whatever and uh, I don't know uh, exactly how to get it to come in as perfectly as possible for here in Sony Vegas because uh, I know there's a thing uh, for a Final Cut where you could do this uh, deinterlace, uh, deinterlacing type thing where it'll make it a bit smoother so that if you have a crappy camera a little bit and, and it doesn't make all your clips come in like perfect HD you could like do that in Final Cut but I don't really know how to do that here like here I guess uh, what you can do is uh, first we're gonna show you the chroma key and I'm gonna uh, like I'm gonna shut, take all of this off actually. So what I'm gonna do is delete everything that I have, just uh, so I could show you from the beginning. Like we'll go to chroma key first. So I would select the chroma key, then I select the green one, because it'll be on the blue one. So right there, and you kind of see the little bit of the video loop. We're gonna have to go to threshold, bring it down a lot. Right there, height. I'd say leave the height to where it is keep going on the threshold almost all the way to uh, to the end right there until you start getting to the point where you're starting to cut yourself out so we'll go uh, 
and then you go back, 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 and you're still gonna see some of the green a little bit, and you, uh, uh, a good way to hide that green that's back there, that you can see a little bit of the green of the access a little bit, good way to hide that is to do this, okay, add some blur amount, okay, go to threshold, okay, and blur and adding some blur will make it uh, less choppy on the corners where you see that uh, little green hanging out there a little bit. So you add, I say, just a little, little, little bit. I say to right about there for right now. And then we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to color corrector, okay? And we're gonna add the color corrector, okay? And then I've been playing around with the color a little bit. I had bring it to blue a little more, so that to right there. And then I would probably bring down the saturation a lot. Oops. Okay. And you might want to have the color character first. So you move, you play around with this a little bit. Okay. See the color character first. Bring it down. But it's taken away from the chroma keys. So you might want to see it a little bit towards the blue. And then right here. Mess around with it a little bit. The color right there. Okay, you mess around with the the gamma a little bit. Mess around with that. I'd say two or right about there. And then you just keep playing around with that. Okay. And then you can go back to like your chroma key here. Mess around with the blur amount. Maybe a little bit less than what it was before. Two right about there. And you still see a little green. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mess around with the color corrector. You probably might want to put this one right here towards the red a little bit. Okay, on on this one. Then you bring this towards like the purple a little bit. You bring this towards purple a little bit too. And then the gain, you mess around with that. Mess around with the saturation, the gamma. A little bit. And that's as best as you're going to get it here. It, depending if your camera is not in HD and it's not really perfect and then depending on the kind of colored green that you have this color green is like like the best green that I could find I found this at like JC Penney's when I was looking for like something for like a sheet to do green screening stuff so uh, this was the closest green that I could find and it was the uh, it was, they only had like two of this left and and I was having a lot of trouble finding the green and it's kind of a little bit of expensive getting a green screen when really it's not really like a full uh, everything. Like you can get a lot of the similar stuff that you find online at cheaper prices like at like at Lowe's or you can go to like Home Depot's for the lighting and stuff like that. And then you can go to like uh, JCPenney's for the sheet or you can go to like a bedding store like Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that. And and you go there and then and that's and that's pretty much uh how you how you mess around with the green screen chroma keying whatever and i'm going to show you what what it looks like behind of a uh picture so i'm going to go right in here and go to file i'm going to go to well first i'm going to go to project media and i'm going to go to i think i already have no i have different motion ones i'll sh uh, video loops i'm going to show you let's go to import media and get like a like a picture and I make wallpapers and like Photoshop and everything so I'll show you like a cool wallpaper that I made that I just made so uh, which which you kind of see it at the beginning of the tutorial uh, Terminators or Con Chronicles so I'll show you what I look like standing uh, in front of that so I'll go to here I'll go to pictures okay I'll go to Photoshop projects Okay, and then I'll go to here. Okay, right there, and this is a new wallpaper that I made today. Just messing around in Photoshop. So I'll just do this. Okay, to right here, show you what I look like there a little bit. What I look like behind of a wallpaper a little bit. And also too, the quality is a little bad because uh, uh, compared to like Final Cut, you, you don't see your clips in HD all the time because if you have it like on uh, Preview Auto, it's going to be a little crappy a little bit. So you go to Best just to check it a little bit. Go to Best Auto. And you can see it's a lot better. You can 
barely, barely see that that green hanging out on the edges and, and adding that blur a little bit makes it a little bit perfect. And that's pretty much uh, how I did it in uh, the video uh, for my uh, parody to Summer Glow when I did it to the song uh, Hold It Against Me, which is Britney Spears' song. So I did a parody to that. And I'll put a link to the video at the end so you can check the video out. And the video was done, all of it was done in Final Cut, but uh, pretty much uh, you could do the same thing here in Sony Vegas, what I did in the video. Except uh, the only little difference that uh, Final Cut has over Sony Vegas is that when you're doing green screening, it has a, a little bit more features. It has like a color key here and it has like a spill suppressor. And what the spill suppressor does in Final Cut for people who have a Mac, the spill suppressor, what it does, it has like a thing where it makes it a little bit red so it kind of keys out a lot more of the green so you can get a perfect image and it looks like you're t totally 100% uh, in the background and, and that should belong there you make it look like you belong there a lot better and uh, that's pretty much it on this tutorial I hope you find this tutorial useful and doing green screening uh, or blue screen effects uh, you can do pretty much the same method here with the blue screen you just uh, instead of doing the green you do the blue and that's it, and uh, like I said, please uh, comment, rate, subscribe, check out my uh, second channel with the video uh, of how I, uh, of what it looks like with the parody to Summer Glow and the uh, 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 parody of Britney Spears, because I did it to Summer Glow because I'm a fan of Summer Glow and stuff like that, and I love Terminator and stuff, and so I did that, and you can check out my website for more uh, tutorial information. I got a forum there. You've got more questions because the next tutorial on Sony Vegas, I'm going to show you how to do uh, audio uh, mixing in here and stuff, and how to do voiceovers and stuff. Trying to do fan video voiceovers or whatever voice editing you want to do. A little bit that you could do here in Sony Vegas. So that's it. See you later, and that's it.